tired or confused when a friend is mad or said something rude. God gave us some seeds that can grow into fruit, a life full of love, grace, and truth. I got love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, good. Self-control, God's love shown to all the world. I got love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God's love shown to all the world. This song is called Shine My Light. It's all about how we can shine our light for Jesus. So we're going to start by singing, You Are the Light. You are the light. You live in me. Help me to love like you love me. Even when I want to go my own way, Jesus, you make me strong. We're going to sing, No, I Won't Give Up. Let's stomp our feet. No, I won't give up. Even when it's tough, I'm gonna shine my light for you. Yes, I will do good and I will be kind. I'm gonna shine my light for you. I'll shine for you. Lord, I'll be patient and I will share so others see how much you care. Even when I want to go my own way, Jesus, you make me strong. Sing, no, I won't give up. No, I won't give up. Even when it's tough, I'm gonna shine my light for you. Yes, I will do good and I will be kind. I'm gonna shine my light for you. I'll shine for you. Shout out for you. I'll shine for you. of the Bible, the Apostles and the High Council. These are the Apostles. Hello. They followed Jesus during his time on earth. See ya. After he went to heaven, Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to be their helper. Then the Apostles spread the good news about Jesus everywhere they went. The apostles performed many miracles and healed the sick. They met regularly in the temple in Jerusalem 
and many came to believe in Jesus. Huh. All this made the Jewish high priest and his officials very jealous, so they arrested the apostles and put them in jail. But an angel of the Lord came in the night Whoa! and opened the gate of the jail. The angel told them to go to the temple and tell people about Jesus. Got it. So at daybreak, the apostles went to the temple and told people about Jesus as the angel told them to. Meanwhile, the high priest and his officials called together a meeting of the high council. They sent the guards to bring the apostles out of jail, but when they went to the jail, they were gone. Wait, what? They returned to the council and reported that the men were gone. Guess what? Then someone arrived and announced that the men who were in jail were standing in the temple, teaching people. Go get them! The captain went with his temple guards and arrested the apostles. Come on, you. They brought them before the high council. The high priest said, We gave you strict orders never again to teach in this man's name. Um, yeah, but... But Peter and the apostle said, We must obey God rather than any human authority. They told Jesus' story that he was raised from the dead after they hung him on the cross and that now he was in heaven. They told them that Jesus did all these things so that people of Israel would turn to God and be forgiven for their sins. This made the high council furious, and they decided to kill the apostles. But one Pharisee named Gamaliel stood up and ordered that the men be sent outside the council for a while. Then he warned his fellow Jewish leaders that killing the apostles might bring more trouble than good. He advised them to leave the apostles alone. Not a good point. The other Pharisees saw his point and accepted his advice. They called the apostles in and had them beat up, but they didn't kill them. They ordered them to never speak in the name of Jesus, and then they let them go. The apostles left the high council happy that God thought them worthy to suffer for preaching the name of Jesus. And every day in the temple and from house to house, they continued to teach and preach this message. Jesus is the Messiah. coming along. Fine! Whoa, are you okay? No! W what's wrong? I can't talk about it! Why? Because I just can't! Okay. How about I just help you with your tomato patch then? Fine! I'll tell you everything! It all started with a certain purple scuppet with orange spots! She asked me to steal oranges! Oh. I can't steal oranges! Yeah, stealing's wrong. But she's a good friend and I don't want to tell her no! But you feel like you should? Well, yeah, I can't steal stuff. You know, Winston, I think it's very good that you know stealing is wrong. It sounds like you could use the fruit of the spirit right now. What's that? Is that a kind of tomato plant? No, it's not like the fruit we harvest here at Scuppeton Farms. Then what is it? When we follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit works to make us more like Jesus. Then we have the fruit of the spirit. The fruit I'm thinking of for you is faithfulness. What is faithfulness? Faithfulness is standing up for what we believe because we know it's the right thing to do. I need to stand up for what I believe in and tell Mel I mean someone that I won't steal oranges for them. Yep, but remember Winston, you don't have to do it alone. God helps us with the fruit of the Spirit. God will help me to have faithfulness? Yeah, he will. Well, I gotta go take these to the barn now. I'll see you later, Winston. Bye, Katie! Did you get the oranges? We need to talk. Okay. I need to be faithful and stand up for what I believe in. Okay. I can't steal oranges for you. Oh, that felt good to say out loud. Steal oranges? Winston, I didn't want you to steal oranges. What are you talking about? Stealing is wrong. I wanted you to peel the oranges.
oranges so Katie could make orange marmalade to sell for the farm. Oh! Well, I guess that cleared things up. Come on, Winston. We can do it together. 